because my gate has just been changed and luckily I checked. Nice car. Hello and welcome to another flight review. Today we are flying an airline that was made famous by the one and only Noel Phillips. Today we are flying Scott Airlines from Kazakhstan. And when you look at his videos or other reviews, you realize that they are not doing too well. Hence, I booked myself a flight to try it for myself. So please join me on a flight from Astana all the way to Atirao. Our trip starts in the former capital, Kazakhstan, Almaty. With 2 million people, the country's largest city and also home to the main airport. I arrived today prior from Uzbekistan and today I was adding airline 196 to my list. SCAT was founded in 1997 and has a reasonable big fleet with 33 planes in their fleet. They pretty much became an internet sensation after Noel Phillips' review and I was very keen to see what they are like since Kazakhstan flag carrier Air Astana is one of the best airlines in the world. So guys, and here we are, all checked in for the Scott Airlines 727 experience to Atirao. So sometimes you do need to pay attention to the uh, boards at the airport, especially if you don't make announcements because my gate has just been changed and luckily I checked. It was then time to board Scott Airlines and we would be flying on the troubled 737 MAX 8, a plane many avoid these days. The airline was actually a lounge customer of this type in Central Asia and currently operates 8 of them. So let's hop on board and let's see what it looks from the inside. First thing you notice when entering the cabin are the 12 business class seats. However, the airline doesn't sell them and it's impossible to book them online as well. I have no idea why, but perhaps somebody does know and can enlighten us in the comment section below. I would love to know. However, the seats look pretty cool. We're then on to the economy class cabin and my first impression was rather positive. It looks fresh, modern and neat. I have no idea what their older planes look like, but the interior is no worse than any legacy airline in Europe. Also the colors look good. So now let's check out the seat. So guys, and here we are. Welcome on board Scott 737-8 Max. Which is interesting because when I booked it, it was a 737-800 Classic. Um, yeah, first impression looks nice, looks neat. Um, crew, kind of alright. A bit on the grumpy side, but uh, as always, they might warm up a little bit uh, throughout the flight. Uh, flight time is like three hours, and also an interesting fact: Atrao Airport is the lowest altitude airport in the world. So that makes that a quite special flight. Oh, what I can feature is how filthy and disgusting the window is. Nice. 
I gave the window a nice vibe, but I also noticed the awful, awful legroom situation. And I'm not even that tall. It feels very uncomfortable and knowing that I will have to spend the next 3 hours cramped into the seat, I wasn't too happy about it. However, we then pushed back and made our way to the runway. A lot of you guys are always asking me about the gear and the camera I use, so I put together a little list on my website. The link is in the description box below. The views climbing out of Almaty are absolutely stunning, especially with the beautiful backdrop. But shortly after, I got reminded again how small and tiny the seat actually are, and my neighbor's elbow would find a new home in my belly. And that wouldn't change for the rest of the flight. I don't even think Ryanair has such a small seat, and it was simply not comfortable to travel on. However, right after takeoff, the crew would hand out bottles of water to each passenger. That was it in terms of service. The onboard magazine is the only form of entertainment on this flight and it also features a menu, but the crew never came around to offer any of those items and perhaps they are only available on international flights. I guess we will never know. For the rest of the flight, I enjoyed the view out of the window and eagerly waited for the captain to announce our descent, but trust me, this flight felt like an eternity. How come that a 12 hour business class flight feels like an hour and a 3 hour flight on Scott Airlines feels like the longest flight on earth? Can somebody please explain? Because I would love to know. After three hours, we finally touched down in Atirao, the lowest international airport in the world, located 22 meters below sea level. Atirao is known for its gas and oil industry, and just as Istanbul, located on two continents, Europe and Asia, divided by the Ural River. That's what I love about traveling to such exotic destinations, you always learn something new. Thank you. It's possible. Hi, how are you? Yeah, sure. Elevators. Elevator is this way. This way. This way. All right. Thank you so much. Hey. Okay. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. So all checked in, and my uh, 
Bon Boy Gold Status came in handy. She said she upgraded me to a suite. That's nice. You even come to the most remote place, Atirao, and there is still an area property. There's actually two here. Well, look at this. Finally, a status comes in handy. Like, this is a lesson I've learned. So, all my uh, other fellow vloggers, um, they're all experts with points and status and miles and all that kind of stuff. And I have no clue about it. Never really signed up. So, this year, I signed up for Mar Marriott Bonvoy. And now I'm at like 42 nights already. That's very close to my platinum status, actually. And it has brought so much advantages into my life. Now I'm gonna get a late checkout, which just comes in very handy because on Tuesday, my train is at eight, no, at eight, at six. And uh, I got an upgrade, welcome gift, uh, and then collect all those points. So don't be like Josh and don't uh, neglect on points. Open your accounts everywhere with the airlines and uh, follow all those miles and point blogger Nikki Nikki is a very good friend of mine uh, the points guy UK he's the absolute superstar when it comes to it so follow his blog and his YouTube and then you won't miss out on all that stuff how is my day uh, yeah well three hours in Scott it wasn't too bad right uh, crew was nice, plane was a bit on the filthy side, but still, still all right. It's a budget airline by the end of the day, and uh, that's how I treat it. But landing at the lowest altitude airport in the world, another uh, accomplishment. Pew! Tick, tick that off my box. Um, now I only have to go to the highest airport in the world. Uh, which was the initial plan, but visa-wise it didn't work out as such, but still going to do it and have some more challenges coming. So make sure you subscribe right now. Also, if you want to access some extra perks, be part of my cool WhatsApp group, um, early access to my videos, get the Cahill key ring, looks pretty cool on the uh, carry-on, or have your name in the credits or get behind the scenes, check out the link in the description box below. And I have now two days in Atira. I have no idea what to do. Um, so if you're wondering, this is the view from the hotel. It looks, oh look, a mosque right there. Beautiful. It is actually quite nice. There's a square. I'll probably be exploring a little bit um, and editing. All right, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching, and wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.